Hi everyone, in today's demo we will try to create a demo ring for Greater Evansville Baseball uh, team. So uh, I've already prepared the images, um, I've photoshopped out uh, the name, uh, the jersey number and the year according to the specs and now we're just gonna go straight to admin panel in Magento and create a new product with uh, uh, the images. I already actually created one product as a test run but I will uh, create a new one as a demo video to avoid any unnecessary delays that happened during the first creation of the product. So uh, we click create new product, uh, we set up the uh, name and uh, we'll just change it to demo here. We will set up the price for the product $209. We will set the quantity $99. Product is in stock. Uh, in it should show up in rings category. And then we will add an image right away for the category page for it to show up. We will choose the name that has all the text on it. So this will be used uh, as a default image on the product. Uh, so in order for the customizer to get initialized, we need to save the product first. So after we save the product, uh, we can see the button configure. So inside of the configuration screen, uh, allow entering for our customers. You get ready, front. Uh, so first thing to do is to upload the image here uh, for the front view. So we save it, but. As you can see, it's a little bit squished. So what we need to do is uh, uh, we need to create uh, just a couple of things here. Uh, customization, uh, uh, personalize uh, your ring would be the tab name or the panel name in our case. We will save it and then we will add uh, one category. Um, the first category will be name on a ring and uh, we will select the type monogram, text monogram field, we will save it. Uh, on each uh, category there will be one uh, input field and in the first case it will be last name or uh, name on ring field and then we will set the input max length to 15 in this case and we will also add for the first option uh, price $209 uh, so that uh, custom product builder interface also gets price information from somewhere um, because it's a custom product so we just need to dub to enter the, the price in the product details themselves and in the custom product builder in one of the options for the standard price to appear um, so each option can add up to this price but we will just have two, 209 in one of the options so this price is being used so we created one field here what we want to do now is um, uh, create a couple more fields uh, add a new category uh, second one will be jersey number uh, it will also be text uh, monogram field and then uh, this will be second category we will create an option in the second category called uh, jersey number and uh, we will set it to two limit of two uh, max length two for the input field and then we will create a third uh, category we will call it year and uh, we will set it to text monogram field we will save it and add an option um, let's be year and then it will have four digits four digit limit we will save it as well and now uh, we have created three fields uh, that can be used in order to display information on the image. Um, so the, the display on the e product information on the image will be the next step. What we want to do is, because this image is kind of squished by canvas, we just need to kind of reload the page. So uh, we will close, uh, click Save Configuration here. Uh, we will close the page. We will not click save on the product page. We will just click back. Uh, we will go out to the category page and then we will go back to the product. Uh, we can see that all information is saved here. Um, and then we will click configure. And then you can see that the image kind of unsquished. So uh, we will 
kind of fix it during this couple of weeks but for now the workaround is just to go out of the product and come back so that it loads properly so now we can lay over the canvas um, uh, canvas layers for every uh, product uh, detail here that we want to enter so the first now one uh, will be last name or we can put a name uh, actually yeah last name and uh, on name on ring in title but at the same time it will be text the panel to select and then here we will enter the sh text that will show up inside of the field as a preview it will be last name then under advanced tab we will set the font for example to 14 and then uh, we will select the font style uh, something thick I uh, found this font called Archival Black. Um, we need to upload Agency FB um, as a custom font. Um, it shouldn't be a problem, but we didn't do that yet. And then we, for the custom layer on the canvas rendering, we would need to select the field that it will be taking the information from. So we need to assign custom layer to the input field. So in this case, we will do. Uh, last name and uh, I made a mistake it should be white a little bit uh, grayish so that it shows up here here last name and then we can see that we can add uh, a little bit more to this font size so uh, we will do Save. Here we go. Last name. Now we need to create second field. Uh, it will be called uh, uh, jersey number, and then uh, we will choose panel to select. It will be type text, and then preview text. We can set 12, for example. Sometimes you can see the text in the input field here. No worries, it's still there. Uh, after you go to to the advanced tab, uh, tab, you enter font size 14, choose font family, archival alignment, and then this one will be black. And then where do we take the information from? We take it from the panel personalize your ring from category jersey number and option jersey number. And then we can save it. And here we go 12. So we can position it right here. okay and uh, we can click save as well and the last um, category that we want to create is um, uh, is uh, year and then text view panel to select personalize and then here we can write year and then advanced font size is uh, 22 archival black center and it will be black font category year option year let's see we save it as well and after it appears here we can position it on that spot let's see here a little bit to the right. Here we go, save. And um, that's it. Our product is done. Took me about uh, nine minutes to create the product. And um, uh, we can demo, sh sh check it out on the front end. So we click save configuration and then we do not click save here we just go back and if we go to the front end uh, we check out the home page we find the demo ring we go to its 
page and let's see what's going on last name jersey number year let's type it in last name jersey number 14 and then year would be 2019 and uh, it's right here and now we can click add to cart so we're working on speed optimization on all the fronts with reloading and stuff it's on our top list priority should be rolled out uh, within like a week or two uh, on staging this week and then production uh, sometime end of this week beginning uh, middle of next week so here we go order items details uh, name uh, jersey number and ring year that's it can check out and uh, to see the uh, success page continue shopping and let's check out the admin panel for sales orders here are my order for my own ring and uh, let's see what we've got here product details SKU personalization information the thumbnail of the image and that's it thank you for your time